A bona fide heat wave is on its way. I'm meteorologist Don Paul. Welcome to my podcast, Don Paul's Bits of Leather, on weather, climate, and the real deal heat, which will be enveloping Western New York for all of next week. But first, you can enjoy a terrific weekend. Temperatures actually a couple of degrees below average on a beautiful Saturday, mostly sunny, with a light north northeast breeze, keeping wave heights for dull but safe sailing under a foot on Lake Erie and one to occasionally two feet on Lake Ontario. A high UV index, by the way, as I remind folks every year, the UV index is not related to heat or temperature. It is the clarity of the atmosphere. Now on Sunday, just a little less clarity as the winds turn around, start coming in lightly out of the southeast to south. Some clouds will be mixing in with the sunshine, but when the sun's out, still a high UV index. Gentle warming Sunday and still low humidity. High temperatures, low 80s, although that weak southeast flow may not quite make it to the Lake Ontario shoreline. So around Youngstown and the Wilson beaches may be a few degrees cooler. But a warm front crossing the region by Monday morning looks like it's coming through dry, which is often not the case with warm fronts, will be partly to mostly sunny and getting hotter and more humid. Afternoon high temperatures inland from Lake Erie with a southwest flow behind the warm front, boosting temperatures to the upper 80s, but it will be a little cooler closer to Lake Erie and in downtown. Still dew points, though, will jump to the upper 60s, adding a lot of stickum to the atmosphere, and it will become increasingly uncomfortable and not very good sleeping weather after excellent sleeping weather Friday and Saturday nights. By Monday night, we're looking at low temperatures dropping only to the low 70s with the higher dew points. And that's going to be one of the problems in a long-lasting period of heat and humidity by Western New York climatology, right through at least Friday. A daytime highs on Tuesday, the low 90s, dew points heading into the low 70s. Low 70 dew points near the Gulf of Mexico would be considered a gift from nature. But around here, we're just not used to it. And not that much of a breeze once we get into midweek. By midweek, Wednesday, indications are we may peak temperature-wise in the mid-90s with heat indices reaching the upper 90s. And that's really out of our lane around here in terms of climatology. Air temperatures in the low 90s on Thursday, about 90 on Friday, and light winds. Uh, So the heat humidity are going to become increasingly stressful for uh, people with chronic heart or lung disease, the elderly, infants, especially in housing which uh, does not have access to air conditioning. So the advice is the usual tips. Try to get yourself to a place with some air conditioning for several hours to cool down. And uh, even though we're going to be hot and humid, the Lake Erie temperature is still cold enough so that uh, swimming in Lake Erie is still going to be a mighty chilly event. And uh, in fact, if you fell out of a boat, uh, the lake is still cool enough where if you were immersed for too long, there'd be some risk of hypothermia. Now, as far as other hot weather tips, the usual things, I won't go through the whole list, loose weave for your clothing. And something that sometimes astounds me on a hot, sunny day to see people walking around in a black T-shirt. Dark colors absorb much more solar energy and can raise your core temperature pretty much in a hurry. So not just light color, not just uh, light weaves, but light colored clothing should be de rigueur for next week. Every day is going to be hot. Tough on even fit people. Outdoor workers are going to be uh, needing to keep extra hydrated. And even you fit folks, and I don't count myself among, myself among you. Uh, I do go to the gym, but you know I'm certainly not a long-distance runner. Next week is not the week to be doing long-distance running. And if you must do vigorous outdoor exercise, it should be in the early morning and the evening, not in the heat of the day. And this heat's going to last, as I said, right through Friday. And then only a little improvement gradually beginning to develop next weekend. During the week, we're going to be under what's called the heat dome. That is a stacked up ridge of high pressure. High pressure air masses have higher density, greater weight. 
And that weight of that high pressure air causes subsidence, sinking of the air mass toward the surface, which act, actually heats the air beneath by compression. And uh, that this kind of heat dome being centered this far northeast is a little unusual. The signs in the extended range guidance are that this heat dome will start to weaken and drift farther to the south of our region by next week, and especially by Sunday the 23rd. We're not heading into a cool pattern, but the heat humidity will be a little more tolerable as we get into at least the second half of next weekend. Uh, so if you count that as relief, and I do, it is certainly going to be more uh, bearable than what we're going to be experiencing during the work week. So take it easy. I'll keep you informed on Facebook and on Twixter and here on the podcast. Please share, please follow, and I will talk with you real soon.